Hey golfers, welcome to Big Swing Golf Cube. We've got a quite interesting one for you this month. Steve, can you tell us what it's about? Okay, Mark, uh, they talk about the, the golf swing starting from the ground up. So we're gonna look at the role of what the feet do during the swing. Look at the role of the right foot in the swing. What we would not like to do is have it turn in too much. What that does is on the back swing restricts the hip turn, in turn making your swing too short and restricting your back swing. The other un undesirable position would have it too flared out. What that does is give you excessive hip turn and the possibility of getting your weight on the outside when you get weight on the inside. Where it should be placed is perpendicular or slightly flared. So as you make your back swing, that restricts the hip, hip turn to a degree, keeping your weight on the inside of your right foot. Okay, now we're gonna look at the role of the left foot and where it shouldn't be placed. Having it flared out too much will produce an excessive hip turn on the follow through, possibly coming over the top and not being stable during the swing. Having it flared in too much on the downswing restricts the hip turn and not allowing you to rotate right through to a nice finish. So where it should be placed is slightly flared. And what'll happen on the downswing, you can clear that hip and be able to get onto that left side. Okay, in summary, Mark's gonna hit a shot in the moment. So he's gonna do a slow motion swing, and you can see with this, having the feet in the right position, how he gets in a really good position, just a little bit of hip turn, coming down slowly, he can clear his left side because his left foot's in the right position. Okay, Mark, if you'd like to hit a shot for us. Great swing. 